This is Bet from the Bunker, coming to you from quarantine. Uh, we're still here. Hopefully people are getting vaccinated and we're gonna all be back to our jobs and our lives and see our loved ones again soon. I'm gonna tell you today about this new lash system that I have come across called Lashify. So obviously I did a video before about strip lashes and showed you a bunch from my collection. Uh, we had the fantastic Sam Given chime in with excellent tips, but I found something that I think might make my life easier when I go back to my swing job on the road. So I'm going to show you my Lashify system today. First things first, you get a control kit. They have a like a trial one, and then this is like their regular one. So it looks like this and it comes with this wand that is specifically to put their lashes on, which by the way, it's an under lash system. It doesn't go on top, it goes underneath. And also by the way, that's why I'm not wearing any eye makeup right now is because I want you to get the full effect of what it actually looks like. Down here, you can see that I've actually cleaned and, and re like put back into their cases some lashes. And so you clean them, with alcohol. You soak them in, um, I think they recommend like 95% or above. I have 99% alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And uh, once I've used a lash and I've taken them off and you want to use their thing called melt away and yeah, you shake it, it gets all up and then it just comes right off. That way you don't break your lashes. The control kit comes with the wand, it comes with two sets of lashes, and then it comes with the glue. This one is called Whisper Light, and it's double-sided. They've got one side that has a mascara's type wand on it, and that goes on your lashes, just like a little bit close to the root, but not on the waterline. And then the other side is this white, but dries clear, side it's a little bit goopy but that's totally okay actually the goopiness helps and if it's too goopy i just run it under hot water it's not a big deal and then it also comes with this stuff called glass which is a sealant and you do that like an hour later only i kind of do it on top of my normal lashes just to make it less um gunky because i tend to use a little bit too much glue I'm working on that and it's a sealant it's like a waterproof sealant but it actually i find that sometimes i can make them slide off a little bit so i went ahead and i got this stuff called night bond night bond and looks like this and you just uh paint it on underneath at night and it uh reactivates the glue uh, another thing, they have a little bit of a stronger bond called bondage um, with charcoal flex and it, um, it is a stronger glue. So that's what I was thinking was with my job as a swing is that when you get called on mid show, uh, you got to be fast, right? And so a lot of times in art at Wicked, the show is not a heavy makeup show. So, and if I'm going on for a dancer who cover, um, who goes on as the flying monkeys, then we aren't required to wear eyelashes. But when I go on for singer or crossover singer tracks, like the ladies who understudy Glinda, then there, there are certain spots in that show that like, are just a little bit better with an eyelash. And I happen to, I've always had this thing where I don't really feel like I'm performing if I don't have an eyelash on. I don't know why, I don't know where it came from, but that's me. So I'm trying out some different stuff because that way I know I can be faster at my job. And the, these are a lash that you can actually leave on for like, with the bondage stuff, you can leave them on for Gosh, um, I think the most is like 10 days, which probably for me would be a bit much because eventually your eyes just, you know, you wanna like clean them really well and like make sure that your eyes are okay. So I've been trying out different colors. They have a, an ash color, which is great for blondes. They have a ginger, they have a mink, which is supposed to imitate mink eyelash extensions that you would get at a salon. And then they have chocolate color, and they have truffle color, which is like black and brown together. And then they have uh, black color uh, lashes. So they've got a 
pretty good span of naturally occurring colors. And then they also have this prismatic collection, which is like hot pink and neon and green and blue. And then they have a dark brown prismatic. And so most recently, that's what I've been trying. So I'll just hold these up. This is the longest one. I don't know if you can tell. These are the dark brown prismatic. These are C16 and they're pretty good. They look dark on me. I'll say that the ginger color probably looks the most natural and that's what I would wear like in real life. But then I've also tried the fluffy level ones and they also have like a new fluffy level called FX and in chocolate and those are like, much more major like I, if you're going for what people call a russian volume set which i've never had lash extensions before but i was contemplating it and i think that this might be a healthier way too because i'm finding that i actually don't have incredibly strong lashes and so i've been using i have this lash serum just that i put on just to protect them and see if i can negate the stress because here's the thing while uh, the Lashify company has formulated their glues, the Whisper Light, to be flexible so it won't break your lashes, it, and you're supposed to take it off with the melt away so that you don't break your lashes and that it'll come off smooth, but I'm finding that as is any unnatural addition to your body, like gel nails, that it's going to do a certain amount of weakening, just naturally, um, at least on my body and other people may not have this effect but i do so i have to do things to combat it like i can't wear gel nails all the time i just have to take breaks and right now i'm actually on a break and maybe i'll get to show you how i do my own nail extensions sometime okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a layer of the whisper light glue on my on my lash line i'm gonna do it just just a little bit at the base. I'm not gonna do it the whole way through. And I think that will also help with, oh great, got some on my face already, cool. That will probably also help with any potential damage to lashes, because it really shouldn't happen. I, I think this company has done a really amazing job at minimizing damage. That was a big focus for them, because a lot of people do get damage from eyelash extensions when you go to a lash tech or if, you're going to many different lash texts that probably has something to do with it. Anyway, we're gonna do this and I'm gonna show you the finished product. Cool, hang on. Okay, so I've got one eye done. Check it out. That's kind of fun. So I, I used the fluffy ones just because they're the most dramatic uh, sets that I have right now. I've got four different sizes. I've got F8, F10, F12, and F14. And I believe that stands for millimeters length. So here is the length of the 14. As you can tell, it's kind of, it's a fairly long size. And then compare that with like, this is probably an F8. These are one of my ones that I've cleaned and reused. So those are those are good for like the inner corner and the outer corner. This one's just like a little wonky. I might have to just use my heated curler. So this company also sells a heated eyelash curler, which can be really useful because some of the curves might not work exactly right for your eye because they are standardized. So I am seeing if I want to get that. I have this older uh, Japanese heated eyelash curler, but she's definitely like, she's on her last limbs. So we'll see. Maybe when we go back out on tour, I'll go get that. They have a membership box that discounts things very well. I think they also have a pro account and they have this little balloon. So I actually use it to dry the whisper light because the whisper light takes a while to dry. The bondage glue dries very quickly and I didn't use it today because I'm actually going to remove these later because I'm giving my lashes just like a little bit of a break. But so far I'm really pleased with this and I kind of can't wait to see it in terms of my job and being on stage and how it holds up. Cause I think it will, it'll just be like another l stress removed, which is the whole point of anything is make it as easy and efficient and 
time effective as possible. So I'm gonna do the other eyelash. So that was the second eye. I'll lean in so you can see, and you can see that they're underneath and not on top. Here's the, um, the top side. I did add a couple to fill in gaps, and that's what they call stacking. And they have like different, different ways of stacking. They call one bricking and then something else. But I think everybody's eyes are unique and so you have to, if you're gonna do this system, you'll figure out what works for you. People mix and match different kinds, which I think is pretty cool. I will probably land somewhere in between what I've got on now and the ginger or the prismatic brown. There's other colors and sizes that I wanna try. I know there's like a double E that's super like thick and that might be something I could wear for a, a heavier makeup show like Chicago was even though they give you eyelashes so you wear the eyelashes they give you but if there was ever a show where I wasn't given eyelashes I might do something else because I have to say like putting on an, a strip lash every single show can can get uh, tiring. So if there's one step less to do I'm all for it and yeah I hope you liked it and let me know what you think. All right, have a great day. Bye.